Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I have a great project planned for you today. Let's take a look at it. So look at this quilt. Isn't this fun? I mean, it just is so busy and swirling. We're calling it tangled geese because we've got these geese all over the place, but they're just all a little tangled up and I just love it. This is so easy to make. Let me show you how. So to make this quilt, what you're going to need is one roll of two and a half inch strips. And we've used Garden House by Jan Paddock for Moda. Jan is just a really good friend of mine and I love her fabric. It just speaks to my heart. Um, and you're also going to need about four and three quarter yards of background fabric. All the background fabric is actually cut in two and a half inch strips. And so you could use a, a roll of it, but there are 42 in a roll and you're going to need 52 strips for this quilt. And you're going to use every bit of this as well. You're also going to need, um, for your borders, you're going to need one and a half yards for this outer border out here. And it just comes together, makes an awesome quilt, and the quilt will end up being about 70 by 78. So let me show you how to make this block. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go through your roll and you're going to put your strips in pairs and you're going to make sure they have some contrast. So this is your light and your dark right here. And I'm going to line these up like this. So out of each strip set, you're going to need uh, four rectangles, two and a half by four and a half. So we're just going to come over here and we're going to cut this. They're already two and a half inches wide and we're cutting them four and a half. And you're going to need two of your lights and two of your darks. So there's my lights and there's my darks. You're also going to need uh, two two and a half inch blocks like this of those same colors. So here is your two and a half inch ones. And then for your background fabric, you're going to need four of the two and a half inch pieces. And you can see right here, what I've done here is I've taken my two and a half inch strip and I folded it in half. So each time I make a cut, I'm going to get four pieces. So you're going to need four of your two and a half by four and a half inch piece like this. There's our four. And then you're going to need eight of your little two and a half inch squares. And so I'm going to cut eight right here. There we go. So there's eight. All right, let me show you how I do this. Now, these are all going to have to be paired together. Each of your colored blocks is going to be paired together with a solid block. So the easiest thing to do is just to take all these and go over to your sewing machine and chain piece them one after the other after the other. So I'm going to do that. We're going to sew a quarter of an inch right along the edge. And I'm just going to line these up, make sure my quarter of an inch stays even. And there we go. I bumped my stitch, so I have to fix it up. So I'm just going to slide these in here like this and do these one after the other after the other. This is chain piecing where you just slide the next one in and slide the next one in. This is a really, really fun block to make. It's super easy as you'll see. All right. Once you get all these sewn together, we're going to clip them apart here and then we're just going to press them open and we're going to put our darker colors on top so that we can set those seams. And then we're just going to roll them back like this. I like to just roll them back and roll them back. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do now is you're going to take one of your opposite squares. So this is my opposite square, my light square, and I am going to attach this to this side right here. And basically, I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to snowball it. Now, there's a couple of options. You can draw the line like this side to side. I generally eyeball it but you can draw the line. You can also press it so that it has a little sew line for you. 
And if you press it, you wanna make sure that you press it with wrong sides together so you're sewing in the, in the valley like this. So you're gonna sew right on that line and trim that off. And you're gonna do that to all your pieces. So opposite colors, remember, the light ones get the dark and the darks get the light. And I'm gonna do this one block for you here. Follow my line. All right, once you snowball that corner, you're gonna do that to all four of yours and then you're gonna trim your corner. And I just like to use my little ruler and trim it off a corner of an inch and then we're gonna iron that back. All right, so now what we have to do is we're gonna take two of our background squares right here and we're gonna snowball these corners and that's gonna give us our geese look. So again, I'm just gonna finger press these uh, that will give me a sew line. And I'm gonna put it on here like this so I'm sewing from the middle to the out because we want the point out here. We want that to end up like a geese. And we'll do that first and then we'll do the other side. So again, I'm gonna sew right on this line. And this first one goes right across the top of that, um, of that square where you sewed the other one. See how this comes right across the top of there? And then we're gonna trim that off just like that, and fold that back, iron, let's iron that back. And let me square this a little bit, got a little crazy on that edge. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our other background square on this side. Again, let me fold that so I get a little bit of a crease in there. And you wanna make sure that it crosses the middle up here and comes straight down to the side. Just like that, and we're gonna sew right on that line. And that's gonna give us our geese. All right, here we go. And I'm just gonna trim this one off and iron this back. So this is your block right here. This is your little block. So you're gonna do that to your four pieces. And I've got four done right over here. And then you're gonna put them together like this so that your opposite colors come together just like this and just like that. That's your block right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew these two together and we're gonna sew, we've already sewn those two together. Then we'll attach the two of them just like you would a four patch. And so we've got this awesome little block. You snowball both corners. All right, we're just gonna sew a quarter of an inch down this side. And then we'll press it open. There we go. And now we're gonna attach it to this one. You wanna make sure that, you know, this hourglass comes together in the center there and their pieces are all in the right place. And we're just going to put it together like a little four patch. Alrighty, now let's iron this open. And this is our finished block right here. Alright, there it is. That's our block. How fun is that? So then when you go to set them together, you are just gonna put them right next to each other. Just line them up right next to each other, just like this. How cool is that? And we have seven across by eight down. And sometimes it's a little hard to see this block. So let me show you exactly where it lines up here. Here's the block right here. See how that works? just makes them look like they're going everywhere. They're all tangled up. So let me just recap this one more time because you're gonna sew your two, sew your two strips together. You're gonna to put your opposite color in this corner, iron it back, and then you're gonna come on this side and snowball both corners with your two and a half inch square to make your geese. And it just makes this perfect little block like that. You put four of those together and that makes your whole block. So I really loved making this quilt. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your blocks together, seven across by eight down. You're gonna put a two and a half inch 
uh, stock border and then your big border on the outside and it just makes an awesome quilt and I would love to see what it looks like in brights. I can hardly wait to make it again. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the tangled geese from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Mm -hmm.